So I decided to give you guys a video on my um on my favorite go-to sneakers. Well, she used to wear it around the fall and winter time. And these are mostly this is a start. It's between boots and sneakers. So we're gonna start off with the cheapest and the lowest. These are cheap, so these are from Walmart. They cost about maybe I'm gonna say twelve dollars or thirteen. Cause you know $12.99 so $13 and some change they are cute they're like an army base boot they um, come up only I would say short to the th uh, uh, like thigh length and you know they um well, ca thigh calf length and you know they like army military boots I find army military to be actually kind of cool fun and you know I really do like military style outfits I do pair this a lot with like a white or a black and green bean or army fatigue type of pair of pants and I'm rocking these with like a white or a black top and you know these are aren't military wise so I wore these like today and they're like very cute and comfortable and they zip up on the side and they also tie up so these are some cute sneakers I mean cute boots and then now we move on to a sneaker. Again, military style is my favorite. Um, and I love how often I can match and match. Also, these go well with a basic skinny jean, blue jean. So, yeah. All right, so these are your basic, typical black sneakers. They almost come in like Skechers, but they are by Nike. And I'm going to just say it now. Like, people have a, a fawn kind of vibe or let's say they love them some Jordans I'm gonna be honest I love me some Nikes I have a lot of Nikes in my closet and if I could show you it'd be amazing but like Uggs I got a lot of Nikes and these were something needed almost out the camera Jesus <laughs> boobs these were needed I don't have an actual black sneaker in my closet, so I went to Snipes now. These were cheap, considerably cheap. The only reason the price was extra high is because they were, well no, they weren't considerably cheap. I would say these were like 25 or $21, and then I bought another pair, and they were like, um, like $30. So I actually bought them, and... I bought another pair the same day along with the hoodie that I got. Basically, if I bought, actually no, I just brought these shoes. So, uh, basically I brought these shoes and another black pair of shoes. They came together um, $51 and some check tech change. So it wasn't that expensive. Right now they look cheap, but they're not. Well, not too cheap, but they're not as expensive as Jordans to be exact. So, yeah. And they're comfortable. I walk in these. I can go to the gym in these. Um, I can actually walk around a whole amusement park in these and wouldn't have a problem with it. So these are very comfortable. They're soft in the inside. And they really fit on the feet. And they really make you comfortable and easy to go around and go places without being, you know, back and forth. Ladies and gentlemen, my Uggs. Now these are actually a little expensive, but they're not as more as expensive as the next, as the last pair of boots I'm gonna show you. So these are, these were like a hundred and something dollars, and these are like, um, well these are UGG, these are the UGG boots, 
every woman has a pair of Ugg boots in their closet. Let me say now, I have more than just one pair of Ugg boots in my closet. Literally, I have a lot of Uggs in my in my in my possession. So don't come to my house and try to steal it. But I have mad Uggs, along with mad bear paws, along with mad Nikes, and unknown knockoff brands of shoes. So a girl got a bunch of shoes and boxes and everything. And but the one I do own is Uggs. Now these are Ugg sneakers. Sexy, cute, pink. The fur on the inside, so you don't have to wear a sneaker. You can tell they're fresh because they still got stickers and labels on them. They ain't dirty. I try to keep my shoes clean as possible. And I love the fact that they come in a ribbon bow tie. They come with also another pair of, of strings, um, laces, but I just keep them with the ribbon because I know I can keep them clean. And I've wore these a bunch of times. These are cute adorable I would not wear these in the snow at all because I just wouldn't want to fuck them up and these are like between these are good between fall winter and spring because you know in springtime we get them days where it's just like crazy cold and you can't wear like a simple sneaker uh it's, it's just perfect beautiful and I love these oh sorry but yeah I'm so blessed to have a mom that cares. <laughs> Thank you, mom. I love them also because they're pink. You gotta love them because they're pink. Anyone who doesn't love these, you're crazy. Pink. So, ladies and gentlemen, meet Skechers. I've wore these a couple times. They are cute only... They are cute only for, like, a simple occasion. Do not wear these if you're gonna be out somewhere all day. Only wear them when you're going to be out. Well, no. Wear them, but don't wear them to, like, amusement parks. Anywhere like that. I wouldn't recommend wearing these to an amusement park. Or anywhere you where you have to walk around long. They are cute, but they will hurt the feet. They fit properly, and they function properly. It's just that, you know, certain shoes have a certain tendency to hurt after a while being worn. And it's probably because they, they're new and you gotta break them in. I wore these a couple of times just to break them in. And, and I'm still trying to break them in a little bit more because they hurt after a while. It feels like you're wearing heels, but in the exception that it's a sneaker. And the sole may be comfortable, but it's not necessarily comfy. But I like these. These shoes are were probably about $65. They're comfortable. They're Skechers, of course. And I love them because they got the rainbow thing going on almost like with um Jordans when they had the um fruity pebbles thing going on with their um shoes and again they were cute so I'm a sneaker head at heart and I enjoy these sneakers really and you know these are cute again you could wear these out to a specific occasion only if you're going to like sit down eat come back home you could take them off or if you're going somewhere that requires limited walking but somewhere where you can sit chill and mingle and then not do too much like the movies or going to the park or going out to eat again would not recommend these going to like anywhere they're exclusive unless you're going out of town and you wear them out of town and you show them off people look at them and see them okay yeah that's the people dandy where you get them from everybody know they sketch her so yeah but again thank you mom i love these because they're i love these because they're cute and they're you know they're they're, they're, they're colorful and you can pair these with any color, blue, red, yellow, orange, green, uh, purple. So yeah, you can pair these with any of the colors that's in the shoe. And you have a nice, deep, a nice, um, a nice, a nice outfit. I done paired these with all types of colors so far, so yeah. So this is the last shoe, sneakers that I'm about to show you and then we're gonna move on to the last pair of boots that I'm gonna show you but these are the most expensive well no not the most expensive these were I think I don't know maybe they were expensive I don't know nah they wasn't more expensive than Tommy than Michael Kors <laughs> All right. um so these are Tommy Hilfiger's they cost about two hundred and something dollars my mom told me this is when that year when I said we were in a magazine almost like a magazine and 
these were the shoes that were being that we had brought along with our dresses and my mom bought a purse and socks this shit, like I said, it came to about a thousand dollars because she brought everybody in the Tommy Hilfiger store. Not everybody in the Tommy Hilfiger store in general, but everybody, including my mom, including my brother, his girlfriend, the kids, and me, a Tommy Hilfiger outfit. And we all looked like we came from hit from a Tommy Hilfiger magazine. So this was these this that was expensive, literally expensive. I wore them at least twice. I haven't really worn them much more. I guess they'll get worn again in the summertime or spring. You can pair them with any color shoe. You can pair them with any color type of outfit, technically. You can even pair them with red because they have a red band and, and the white. And if you want, bring out some blue because they are Tommy Hilfiger. They got blue right here. Um, they're cute. I wore them twice. I got at least three Tommy Hilfiger dresses. Actually, mad Tommy Three, four Tommy Hilfiger outfits, and they go perfectly well with either of them. So anything I'm quite sure with Tommy, it'll functionate and work. And yeah, these are cute shoes. They're comfortable. They, you can walk in these all day, and they're like your basic, simple sporting shoe, and you can just walk around in them all day, and you take a load off, chill, and everything like that in between. So you Krispy Kreme good. So these are my most expensive shoes. Ooh, feather. These are my Michael Core booty boots. They are expensive as hell. Expensive as hell. They cost my mother about $400, literally, because they were expensive as hell. And these were some expensive boots, booties. I wear these only on special occasions. Necessarily though, I think it's time to get rid of them as anybody can see they're probably like peeling right here Here, I don't know, but I do know they were the most expensive boots when I brought them They're cute. They're good for occasion. They're booties. I don't know if I might give them away I might try to wear them out a little more longer than what they should Than what I did. I didn't really get a chance to wear them out as much as I wanted to I do want to opt for another pair though But again, these were the most expensive Four hundred dollars for Michael Kors, my boy. Hey, my mom saw my mom saw the unknown when I when we had to ring these up at Macy's. These were expensive as hell, and this and I brought these literally around this time of the year. So these were not a Christmas gift. These were just shoes I got for uh, shoes for college, literally because I was on my I was in college when I got these, and this was like in 2012. And these are expensive. They're cute, black, bulky. They are a chunky heel, wedge heel. Um, they're almost, they're sneakers. So they're very, very cute. Um, I wanna go get another pair of these just to like wear. You can wear these business, business casually because you know, nowadays you don't have to dress up fully. If you wanted to, you can wear a business casual. And I feel like these would be perfect for that type. Or if you were going out somewhere, like in the fall time, and you needed to look superb, but you didn't have any, like, cute clothes, I would pair these with a jumpsuit, a black jumpsuit, and some, and these shoes, and a black purse, and I'm straight. And a black, and a black leather jacket. And this would be the bob. So, yeah, these were the shoes I wore constantly and I wore them every day they were three they were four hundred dollars so technically I had no choice uh, I mean like I got the best war item literally I could say now I really didn't wear them uh, I don't wear them as much but I would really really probably start trying to wear them again probably like next year around the fall I wore them mostly part of the fall and winter and then more between the spring and summer only because I was going a lot more places in the springtime than I did in the fall. So, yep. And that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you guys like it. Please comment down below. What do you own? I know a lot of you probably own Jordans, less than likes. But to anyone who, to any of my Nike people, 
you on you with the pair of Nikes? Comment down below. Let me know in the comments what y'all got. I'm more of a Nike head. Again, I'm more Nike than I am Jordan. And I know probably a lot of people be like, you gotta get up on the way. And hey, let me know. Anyway, in the meantime, I will see you guys again in another YouTube video. We are one week away from Christmas. Happy Vlogmas. Well, actually, this is... <laughs> Happy Vlogmas. I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you.